Welcome to Ron No Stuff. With me today is Mrs. Ron No Stuff. Hi. And of course, Coco. We're driving down the highway in our new 2024 F-150 STX with 2.7 twin turbo 10 speed automatic. Woohoo! Yes, and we are getting an, on average 20 miles per gallon. We're at 21.0. We're at 21 right now because we're doing a little bit of highway driving. And uh, the thought is that we're going to buy a travel, travel trailer. trailer with this. Yeah. So just let, a small travel yeah. trailer. The towing capacity of this says it's around 7,500 uh, pounds. So I'm thinking of a travel trailer that, I mean, preferred wet weight. No more than 5,000, 5,500 tops. And I say that because, well, first of all, there's dry weight. That means there's nothing in it. So empty? Empty. Okay. Absolutely empty. There's no furniture, no clothing. No food. No food. No water reserves. Right. No, you're right. Nothing in the tanks. Nothing. So uh, when you start throwing in all your belongings and the liquids mm -hmm. and whatnot, they say that adds about a thousand pounds. Okay. So, you know, we'd be looking at a thirty-five hundred to four thousand dry. Thirty-five to forty-five. Hundred pound dry, mm -hmm. yeah. So, that's kind of what I'm thinking, because I don't just because it can tow seventy-five hundred, and the manufacturer says that it can tow that much, doesn't mean it can't tow more. But why overburden the engine and the transmission? Sure. So let's get something a little less. So we have been looking at some travel trailers. Yeah. Um, not the, real in depth, just kind of going in and looking at them. Yeah. And yeah. one of the things I like and I prefer is a separate bedroom area for us. I don't want the Murphy bed that pops down and then that's where you sit during the day to watch TV and visit and then you know, you pop it back up when you want, if the grandkids are with us or if we want some space to walk around and cook and then put it back down. I want, I don't want to do that. I want a bed that's just the bedroom area. Well, and I think what she's saying in a nutshell is it's very important to do your research. We did a ton of research before we bought this truck and we're going to do a ton of research before we buy a camper. Yeah. And... Even after we do all of our research, we're still going to rent one. You think so? Yeah, I, I really do. Because before you spend all that money, and and you know, you know, because anything you drive off the lot, as soon as you drive it off the lot, you get a depreciation hit. Mm -hmm. So even if you buy used, you're still taking a hit. So my thought is, let's narrow down what we think we want. Continue to, you know, check out our fellow YouTubers. Yeah. To see what they recommend. And we've been watching series on tiny home living and sometimes <laughs> they're buying, you know, the RV camper trailer type things. And sometimes it's tiny homes, sometimes it's tiny apartments or and uh, so we're kind of learning tricks of the trade of storage and how yeah. much do you need versus how much do you want? Yeah. So so we as uh, Americans, we have a lot of wants. <laughs> yeah, but we don't have as many. We have our needs, needs are met <laughs> are are far less than what our wants are. Sure. So you've already mentioned your wants. Mine, I, I while I think that's a great idea to have a separate bedroom, I think that we can get more bang for our buck if it is a Murphy type or something, and I think we need to explore that. Because everybody gonna... knows a happy wife <coughs> is a happy life. Everybody so. but me. <laughs> <laughs> but you are Ron No Stuff, oh, so gee, it's like... high time you learn. Well, it's also Ron likes to tempt fate. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to see. Another thing I want yeah. and need yes. is I don't want the toilet in the shower. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Um, and yeah. a medium at least a medium sized fridge, not like a college dorm fridge size. That won't work either. Yeah, well, you know, the nice thing about having a large fridge is when you have a hurricane and you lose power, you have a lot more to throw out. 
<laughs> True. So, so, so eat out, folks. <laughs> Support small businesses and eat out at your local restaurant. I, on the other hand, prefer to have a smaller refrigerator so that we buy what we need, not what we want. And then we have exactly what we need in a refrigerator. Because if you have space to put something, you're going to find something to put there. So, there you go. I would, on the other hand, my desires are, yes, to have at least a queen-size bed. Okay. And because one of us likes to take up a lot of space in the bed. Coco. <laughs> yeah. Stupid dog. <laughs> Don't call my dog stupid. Yeah. <laughs> For a dog with no legs, she, she really, really hogs the bed. <laughs> she does. So, uh, anyway, at least a queen size bed and then a little bunk area so that when we take the grandkids, yes. they have space. And if we, for some reason, begrudgingly have to take our, our children, which are adults, then if they're, Excuse in, me. <laughs> if they're in bunk beds, we can torture them. <laughs> it's not begrudgingly taking I my know, kids. It's funny. They know my humor. They know I love them whole, whole. Oh, they do. Yes. But if I can torch them by making them sleep in bunk beds, <laughs> maybe they'll get their own and travel. Yeah, there you separately. Go. Yes. We'll just take the kids and ours. Right. We also talked about a, a dining room or recliners. Because in the size that we're talking about, it usually is an either or option. So what one? I think you said the recliners. I think so. Yeah, because you can always put snack trays and you can set up a table outside. Yeah, if you're going to camp, you, you're gonna go outside, and chances are, we'll camp when it's cooler out. Well, we're Floridians. Well, I am. Anything's so, cooler than yeah. Florida. <laughs> yeah. So if we go up north, you know, it'll be a dry heat instead of We'll just humid. get one of those um, screen zip-up rooms <coughs> to put the table in for bugs. Yeah, I guess we could do that. Pop-up tent. Yes. So what are your thoughts? What should we be looking for in an RV? We will be novices, and we look forward to you telling us your thoughts. We'll try and do some touring of some and shoot some videos. Uh, is that something of interest that you'd like to see? Anything else? We would love to know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and join us on our RV journey. And we get kibble for Coco every when you time do. you like and share and subscribe. So help us feed our dog. It's a need. Yes. Because <laughs> if you haven't noticed in the videos. That poor little thing is starving. No, she's not. <laughs> she's a little tub. <laughs> she's big bone. <laughs> okay. She's a curvy girl. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Ron knows stuff. Mrs. Ron knows stuff. And now you know stuff too. Bye for now. Bye for now.